Good morning, Sebastian Lacido here, and welcome to 5-Minute Fresh Start. I'm going to read today from 1 Chronicles chapter 13. It's about David moving the ark. We may have had a, a teaching on this a little while back, but I, I want to hit it from a different angle. So verse 1 says, Then David consulted with the captains of a thousands and hundreds and every leader. And David said to all the assembly of Israel, If it seems good to you, and if it is of the Lord our God, let us send out to our brethren everywhere who is left in the land of Israel and with them to the priests and the Levites who are in their cities and all the common lands that they may gather together to us and let us bring the ark of our God back to us for we, are, we have not inquired in it since the days of Saul. And all the assembly said that they would do so for the thing was right in the eyes of all the people. So David wanted, had this ambition in his heart to bring God's presence back, which is a noble thing. It's a worthy cause, right? It's, it's worth going after. And uh, it, it, uh, his intention was that the presence of God, which was the Ark of the Covenant, would be amongst the people and the population in the capital city of Jerusalem. So he, he consulted with everybody. He went to the captains, the leaders, the priests, the Levites, and all the assembly, and everybody said, this is a great idea, let's do it. So verse 5, gather, David gathered all of Israel together from Shinar in Egypt to the far entrance of Hamath to bring the earth of God to Kirjath, from Kirjath to Jerom. And David and all of Israel went up to Bela to Kirjath Jerom, which belonged to Judah, to bring up from there the ark of God, the Lord God, who dwelled between the cherubim where his name is proclaimed. So they carried the ark of God on a new cart from the house of Abinadab, and Uzzah and Ao drove the cart. And David all and all of the people, listen, they played music before God with all of their might, with singing and harps and strings and instruments and tambourines and cymbals and trumpets, and when they came to the place of Chadan, the threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to hold the ark, and the oxen stumbled. And the anger of the Lord was kindled or aroused against Uzzah, and he struck him there dead, and he died before God. And David became angry uh, at this outbreak. And he, the verse 12 says, David feared. And here's the thing. You know, it was a noble cause. It was a worthy cause. It was a good intentions. It was for their relationship with God. They got a new cart. They all dressed in their Sunday best. They were worshiping God with all of their might. They were moving the presence of God to their city. And Uzzah touched the ark, and he died before Israel. In the middle of their worship service, God killed somebody. And so we, we, David was afraid. He was confused. He was perplexed. He backed up. But we learn in chapter 15, and we know through the Bible, that a cart, which is man-made, is carried, you know, uh, it doesn't carry the Ark of God. The Ark of God can only be carried by the Levites, the priesthood. They put a very specific, they put a, a staff through rings, and they carry it on their shoulders, and they didn't do that. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Number one, the, 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 uh, God did not change his judgment because of their enthusiasm, it was a worthy cause, their noble intentions, their good intentions, or, or their worship. God judged based on his word. God will not change his word for us. We have to understand that. God doesn't go along with us. We have to go along with him. David, ignorance wasn't a defense here. You know, I, I made some notes. It was, it's his way or no way. We can't assume or guess in ignorance, he didn't say, David, you didn't do this right. Do it right the next time. He judged based on his word. It was up to David to know God's word. It's up to us to know God's word. We can't just change things because we want them to be a certain way. And so we need to go along with God and not have God go along with us. Can't change it because this is what we do in the year 2022. Amen. So anyway, that's today. Uh, again, share the message. Pray about giving to us, uh, watchersoftruth.com, watchersoftruth.com. Give us 10, 20, or whatever the Lord wants to put on your heart so we can grow our ministry. And then lastly, please use us. We have workbooks and curriculums, five curriculums on our website. You can download them. You can order free books. You can order 
free DVDs. Everything is free in our ministry. Freely we received it, freely give. But the, the, the Lord said to what? To not muzzle the ox, to feed those that feed you. Anyway, God bless you and have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.